Namaste friends, welcome to this really delicious early morning wake up practice. Now, just for the record, I'm also joining you in this early morning practice as this is my first um, morning practice. It is around six o'clock in the morning at beautiful Blue Osa. I wish you were here with me by the pool, enjoying a nice practice. It's a little overclouded today, and so it's nice to be able to practice outside without the heat of the sun uh, on top of me. <laughs> um, whenever we're starting out in the morning, a couple of things to think about is like just moving really slow and becoming attuned to waking up our muscular system. The philosophy of yama is really all about muscle activation. Like how do we activate our muscles? And what we're really trying to do is reestablish that connection between the muscle and the brain. Now I know a lot of times in yoga, you hear people talking about like the importance of mind-body connection. And yes, that's really important. But no matter how much you think that you're connected from your mind to your body, that's not really going to wake up the muscles necessarily. So we need to be strategic in sort of our approach in how we wake up those muscles and that we bring a very strong intention to literally isometrically contracting certain muscles. We don't do those isometric contractions for very long, so don't worry. Um, but generally the rule is about six seconds, okay? So from there, let's start our practice and just kind of find your delicious seat. <clears throat> Sitting comfortably, you can rest your hands on your knees. I'm just gonna take a minute or two just to tap into the breath. And as you're sitting here, breathing in and breathing out, take in all the sounds around you. As you take in all the sounds, let go of your judgments of those sounds. So quickly, our mind becomes busy because it's constantly judging and opinionizing. I want to invite you just to be observant of those sounds and take in all those sounds as if it were prana, life force energy, streaming in through your hands, into your arms, and then torso. Take in all those sounds as if it was streaming in through your feet, into your legs, and into your torso and take in all those sounds as if it was streaming through the center of your chest into your heart center. There are no good or bad sounds. They're just sounds that are the manifestation of life force energy. It's only our human condition and the need to preserve our self identity which is why the mind quickly judges everything as good or bad, right or wrong. But if we zoom out 40,000 feet and look down at ourselves, we see everything as just the manifestation of life and we're able to appreciate it from a different place. I take it all in. I take it all in. Everything I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. I take it all in. And everything I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Keep your eyes closed if you can, just staying with this bhavana. Bring the arms out to the sides along the floor or the ground beside you. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up to the sky very slowly. Lift the chest and the heart and then exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up to the sky. 
and exhale, bring the arms down. Let's do that a couple more times, embracing the bhavana. Inhale, bring the arms and reach up. I take it all in. And then exhale, bring the arms down. And everything I take in supports my journey. It fills me up and supports my journey. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up. I take it all in. And then as you exhale, and everything I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up. I take it all in. At the top of the inhale, just stay there for a moment. If you need to exhale, do so. But see if you can just hold the breath for a moment. Just take it all in. If you have it within your capacity, take another little bit more of an inhale. And then exhale quietly as you can. Bring the arms back down. And everything I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. And then let your hands rest onto your knees. Let's just do a few kind of cat cows here. So inhale, lift the chest and the heart. Let your head graciously come back into a full extension if it feels good. And then exhale, kind of round the back here. Pull the navel into the spine. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. And exhale. Round the back, bringing the chin towards the chest. Navel to spine, inhale. As you inhale, turn the corners of your mouth upwards. I take it all in. Exhale, rounding the back. And everything I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. One more time. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. I take it all in, exhale, and everything I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Very beautiful. I'm going to do one more thing here. Bring the hands behind the neck. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. Now keep that extension. Exhale, twist to your right as much as you can. Inhale, come back to center. We're going to do the same side. Lift the chest and heart, keep that extension. Exhale, twist as much as you can. Push through the heels of the feet. Inhale, come back to center. Lift up through the chest and heart. Exhale, twist. And push through the heels of the feet to lock the hips in. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, relax the hands down. Take a breath in. I take it all in. And as you exhale, and all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. There is no good or bad. It's just life force energy. The more you can awaken to this truth, the more empowered you will be in life. You will learn how to wield life force energy and direct it towards fulfilling life's purpose. Bring the hands behind the neck again. Lift up through the chest and heart as you inhale. Now keep that extension. Exhale and twist as much as you can to your left. Inhale, come back to center. Lift up through the chest and heart. Exhale and twist to your left. Inhale, come back to center. I take it all in. As you exhale, keep the extension. And all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Beautiful. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. Let's come on to all fours now. Inhale, lift up through the chest and heart. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, lift up through the chest and heart. Exhale, look to your left and see if you can see your left buttock. 
Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, lift up through the chest and heart. And exhale, this time to your right. Mm, mm, mm. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, through the center. Exhale, round the back. Navel the spine. Inhale, through the center. Exhale, look over the right shoulder. See if you can see the right buttock. Really tap into that breath. Inhale to center. I take it all in. Exhale, round the back. And all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. Exhale, over your left shoulder. Really squeeze the left obliques here as you're doing this. Squeeze it just another moment because it feels so good. Squeeze it and then inhale back to center. I take it all in. Exhale, round the back. And all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. And then exhale over the right shoulder. Squeeze here just another moment, really squeezing those lateral obliques as much as you can, activating them. The lateral obliques are so important for the stability of the torso. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. And then exhale, tuck the toes. Now, lift the knees off the floor just a little bit. Can you pull the navel into the spine? Now slowly, keep the knees bent, but coming into dog pose. Kind of find that line between the, the fingertips and the, the tailbone here. Now, keeping the knees bent, lift the toes up. Lift the toes, you can start to feel the quads activate here. It's so delicious. Beautiful. Now, let's move dynamically through this. Inhale to the knees very slowly. And exhale, come back into that modified dog with the knees bent, lifting the toes. Inhale, come to your knees. Lift the chest and heart. Exhale, come into that modified dog, knees bent, lift the toes, lift the tailbone, lift the ski slopes of your buttocks upwards. We're going skiing, baby. <laughs> Inhale, come to your knees. And exhale. I take it all in and all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Inhale, come to your knees, lift the chest and heart. And exhale. Beautiful. And we're going to just stay here for a couple of breaths. What I'd like you to do is to very mindfully start to straighten your right leg. Keep those right toes lifted. Now, see if you can engage the quad. Don't worry about the hamstring. Don't think about the hamstring. See if you can engage the quad. Slowly bend that knee. And then very slowly start to straighten the left leg. But keep the left toes lifted. See if you can engage the quad here. Oh, yes. Good. Bend both knees now. Now, we're going to do one of my favorite poses. You're going to bring your right knee down. And turn the left heel over to the right. If you want to play on balance, you can line the right hand to the right knee, to the right foot, to the left foot, okay? What we're going to do here, though, is bring your left hand to the ribs. This is, again, to activate the lateral obliques on the right side. So you're going to take the left hand to the ribs and now lift it up. Very good. And you should feel the right oblique starting to contract and shorten. It's so delicious here. Inhale deeply. Now, if you can and you have it in your capacity, spiral the chest open. Remember to press down through the left outer heel of the foot. Very nice. 
Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Now bring the left arm, reach up to the sky. I want you to reach up as much as you can. Keep lifting the left ribs. So there's a little bit of a banana curve. More specifically on the right side. Take one more breath and then exhale slowly, bring the left hand down. Bring both knees down to the ground for a moment. Inhale, lift through the chest and heart. I take it all in. Turn the corners of your mouth upwards. Exhale, round the back a little bit. Pull the navel to the spine. And all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. Tuck your toes. Keeping the knees bent, don't straighten the legs. Coming into downward facing dog. Very good, lift the toes. See if you can activate those quads. Take one more breath here. And then very slowly let the left knee come down to the ground, turn the right heel to the left. Now again, if you want to, you don't have to, because you can adjust for balance. Not everybody has uh, that level of stability, but you can kind of play with it, left hand to left knee, to left foot to right uh, heel. And then bring your right hand to the ribs on the right side. Now really lift it up. Again, we're going for this kind of banana curve. I don't know how much of a curve I'm making, but in my mind, there's a banana curve here on the left side. And I'm gonna bring the right hand up to my right ribs. And I'm just gonna lift up as much as I can. I really feel the left side of my obliques really engaging here. Now, if it's within your capacity, start to lift the chest upwards. Very nice. Press down through the right outer heel of the foot. Very nice, and then if you can, bring your right hand, reach up to the sky now, but keep squeezing through that left, those left obliques there. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Beautiful, inhale again, and exhale again. Inhale deeply, and then exhale. Slowly bring the hand down. Come back to all fours for a moment. Inhale deeply, lift the chest and heart. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. And then this time, exhale, look over the left shoulder. And just stay there just for another moment and squeeze. Notice if it feels a little easier than when we first did it. Mm, mm, mm. Inhale, come back to center. I take it all in. Exhale, round the back. And all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Inhale, lift the chest and heart. Exhale, look over to the right now. Beautiful. Inhale deeply. Come back to center. Very good. Now from here, what I want you to do is to lift your left leg as high as you can, but then lower that left hip. So if you bring your right hand and rest it on your sacrum, you're gonna notice that it feels level. So now from here, lift the left leg a little bit higher, if you can, and then bring your right arm forward, and then lift both up. Beautiful. This is a great muscle activation for the multifidus. Very hard muscle to get into. You have to do this correctly if you want to activate your multifidus. Exhale, slowly bring the hand down and the knee comes down. The multifidus is so important for spinal stability. Lift the right leg up, lower the leg or lower the hip. You can bring your left hand and just feel it, but then lift the leg up higher. Good. Now, Always, you can just stay here. If you want to, you can bring the hand forward and then lift both the leg and the hand. You'll feel this in your spine, all the muscles in your spine really engaging here. And then exhale, bring the hand down and knee down. Let's do it again. Left leg, lower the hip. 
Lift the leg up higher, lift the right arm, arm and leg. Blossom the heart forwards. Feel the cave of your heart blooming open. Turn the corners of your mouth upwards if you don't feel that bloom. <laughs> Bring the hand down, knee down. Lift the right leg up, lower the hip. Lift the leg up higher, lift the left arm, arm and leg. Very nice. Again, blossom your heart forward. Lift the corners of your mouth and then down. Do it one more time each side. Lift leg up, lower the hip. Use the right hand to feel the sacrum if you need to. And then bring the right hand forward. Lift both the arm and the leg. Blossom the heart forward. And then come on down. Right leg up, lower the hip, lift the leg up higher, lift the left arm, and arm and leg. Very nice. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. And then lower the knee down. And then very slowly from here, I want you to come on to your back. Hey, Destiny, come on over here. No, 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 not there. <laughs> come on, stay there, stay. Nice, good girl. <laughs> Destiny loves to come and join me with my yoga practice. Okay, so from here, then slowly come and lie down. Hey, Destiny. All right. Everybody should have a yoga dog. And then, okay, so from here, what we're going to do is to bend the knees and bring the knees over the hips. Bring the hands forward and then start to press the knees into the hands. This is such a wonderful muscle activation to activate the trunk flexors as well as the hip flexors and slowly down. Bring the feet down. Inhale deeply. I take it all in and all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Bring the knees up. Bring the knees, the hands towards the knees. Now don't lift the chest up. Just bring the hands forward and then press the knees into the hands. Very good. Two, three, four, five, six, and then slowly down. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. I take it all in and all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Bring the knees up, bring the hands towards the knees and press again, two, Three, four, five, six, and come on down. You know, I don't know that I believed in angels until destiny arrived in my life. And she truly is an angel. I've never met such a sweeter soul. Bring the hands up, bring the knees up, push the knees into the hands and hold two, three, four, five, six and back down. Very good. And then again, bring the knees up, push the knees into the hands, two, three, four, five, and six, and back down. And then one last time, bring the knees up, the hands towards the knees, push the knees into the hands, two, three, four, five, six and back down. Really, really nice. We're going to do one more little thing here just to make sure that all of our core is really engaged, especially your trunk flexors. So important to have those trunk flexors being able to do their job and contract and contract on demand properly. Bring your hands behind your neck, please. You're going to bring the knees back up <clears throat> and then you're going to lift the chest and then kind of pull. Imagine that you have a string attached to your pubic bone and you're gonna pull the string towards your navel. 
And this is going to shorten the psoas minor, the longest uh, trunk flexor in the body, and then slowly come on down. Take a breath here. Inhale deeply and exhale. I take it all in and all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Bring the knees up, lift the head, and then pull the pubic bone towards the navel. Two, three, four, five, six, and then slowly down. Bring the knees up, lift the head just a little bit. It's not a crunch. You're not working on the upper part, just the lower. You're trying to isolate the psoas minor. Pull the pubic bone up towards the navel. Two, three, four, five, six, and back down. Inhale deeply. I take it all in. And as you exhale, and all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Bring the knees up, lift the head a little bit, pull the pubic bone towards your navel. Two, three, four, five, six, and back down. And then come on up again. Knees, head, and then pull the pubic bone. Holding two, three, four, five, six, and back down. Really lovely. Take another breath in. All that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. One last time, knees, head, and then pull the pubic bone. And holding for two, three, four, five, and six, and back down. Beautiful. I want to invite you to bring your hands to your belly. Keep your knees bent or straighten your legs, Yogi's Choice. But see if you can stay here for another two, three, five minutes, even longer if you wish. And as you breathe in, breathe into your hands. Feel your capacity increasing and reaffirm this bhavana, this affirmation. I take it all in. And all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. I take it all in. And all that I take in nourishes me and supports my journey. Namaste, friends.